One of the most common questions that I get asked is how do I prevent someone from copying my digital product or my ebook? This is a valid concern, especially with new digital product sellers. So in this video, I want to share with you three ways to help you protect your ebook or digital product. Hey friends, it's Tisha. Welcome back to another video where I'm sharing the tools you need to help you create and sell digital products. Now, when you're getting started with a digital product business and you spent all this time putting value and creating a digital product, the thought or idea of someone trying to steal that is very frustrating and it is a valid concern. But I don't want that to be the reason you don't start your digital product business. Just like any business, there is risk involved. And in the digital landscape, this is one of those risks. However, in my honest opinion, the reward of selling digital products outweighs the risk. With selling digital products, it gives you the option to earn extra income. You can do that passively. It gives you the option to work on your own terms. And it also gives you the option to stop trading time for money if that is something that you are looking to do, okay? Now, before we get into these options, I do also want to share with you that there is no 100% guaranteed way to prevent someone from stealing and trying to resell your digital product or ebook as their own. Because again, unfortunately, there are shady people in this world and scammers are going to scam. I don't want that to be the reason you don't start your digital product business. So let's go ahead and get into these options. So option number one is creating very clear terms and license agreement for your digital product. And you can easily create this using any AI writing tool. There's ChatGPT, Claude, or Copy AI to help you write your terms and licensing. So let me go ahead and jump into my computer screen and show you how to do this with ChatGPT. Okay, so here we are on ChatGPT and the prompt that you want to use is create term of use and license agreement for my digital product. All right, so this is what ChatGPT generated and you can just use this for your terms and license agreement for your digital product. Now, there's a few places you may wanna share this information. You want to actually put this on your digital product description so customers are aware before they purchase the digital product. And you can also put this information in your actual digital product or the deliverable that's being delivered to your digital. So if you're sending something like a thank you PDF, you can also include this information on that PDF. Okay, now you don't have to use this full agreement. As you can see, it is very long. If you want something that's just short and sweet, you can also ask ChatGPT to create a shorter version. The second option is by PDF stamping. PDF stamping is when a customer purchases your digital product or your ebook, their email and information is stamped onto that PDF. There are several e-commerce platforms that actually offer PDF stamping, but you actually have to turn on the that feature. So I'm going to share with you three e-commerce platforms that actually have PDF stamping and where you need to go to turn on this feature. The first e-commerce platform is Gumroad. Gumroad is a free e-commerce platform where you can get started selling digital products. Once you sign up for a free account, you want to go to your Gumroad dashboard, go to your products, make sure a digital product is selected, add a name and your price below, and then you want to click customize. This first tab is where you enter in all of your digital product information. To upload your PDF or your ebook, you want to select content, and then you want to select the upload icon, and then you want to add your digital product. Okay, so once your digital product has been uploaded, you're going to see it here. You want to click on this drop down, and then you want to go down and toggle on step this PDF with buyer's information and you know it's on once it turns pink. Once we turn this on, the PDF will be stamped with the buyer's information on every page in the bottom right corner. The next platform is Payhip. Payhip lets you sell digital products and courses. You can get started with Payhip for free. So once you create your free account and you log into your Pay Payhip account, it's going to bring you to your dashboard. You want to go to the right and select account, and then you want to click on settings, and then you want to click advanced settings, and then you want to just simply check stamp the buyer's email on the top left of each page of the PDF. And this is just an example of what it looks like. It's going to be in the top left corner of every page. The next platform is Selfie. Selfie is also an e-commerce platform. However, this one is a paid 
e-commerce platform you can get started with Sellfire on, on their 14 day free trial to test them out to see if this is a platform that works for you i do have a discount code for Sellfire, so i will leave that down below in the description box once you log into your Sellfire dashboard you want to click on add new product select digital product and then you want to upload your pdf once your pdf has been uploaded you want to check enable pdf stamping and with Sellfy, the pdf step is actually going to be at the bottom of every page of your pdf so if you're thinking about using either of these platforms to sell your digital product i will leave links to my step-by-step -step tutorials down below in the description box so pdf stamping is not foolproof however if someone shares or resells your digital product or ebook without your knowledge or your permission it's a way to kind of track it back to that person and the third option is to copyright your work if you create a unique digital product and an ebook is truly your own you can go the legal route of actually going through the process and having your work copyrighted um, this gives you legal standing ground if someone tries to resell your digital product or ebook without permission. Just keep in mind that although you have legal ground to go after them, this can be very time consuming and expensive. So you have to weigh the pros and the cons of actually taking legal action against someone who has share or resold your copyrighted work so to copyright your digital product or ebook within the united states you have to go to the u.s copyright office website um, that's copyright.gov if you are in another country you would need to follow the process for your particular country once you are on this website if you want to get started you want to go to the top and click registration click registration portal and it's going to take you through the steps you need to do to register your work there is an application fee of $65 and the processing time can take anywhere between two to three months. So if you want to go through the process of getting your work copyrighted, I highly recommend just going to the website and reading through the information and ensuring that you can actually go through the process of registering your work. Okay, friends, so that is how you can protect your digital product or ebook. And I just want to encourage you not to let fear stop you from getting started. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And if you want to learn how you can start your digital product business, make sure you check out the video that is on your screen. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.